I remember going through a hard time late in high school, just hardships, and I went to a friend for advice. And I remember her with perfect calm saying to me, Sarah, you just need to learn to trust in God's plan for you. And I remember turning away, walking away, and just being frustrated and confused. And I wanted to turn back around and just scream. Really, to just trust? In the midst of all these hardships, you think about the sufferings of, the, of life, you know, losing loved ones, doors closing, relationships ending, taking care of loved ones who are sick or struggling, just loneliness. And I remember thinking, how do I find meaning in all of this? How do I get through this? And that's when I remember looking back at some of the times in my life that were the hardest. And I remember being in those times and it was so hard to not, you know, to have a panoramic view, to be able to see my life as a whole. I wanted to just put the blinders on. I could only see the narrow and zero in on what was hurting and what I was struggling with. It was so hard. But those times, now looking back, I could never have seen it during those hard times, but now looking back, those hardest times were definitely the most transformative times in my life. They were the suffering and what, what all I went through is what really brought me out of myself. For the first time, I remember a lot of times, I just couldn't do it on my own anymore. And it brought forth an opportunity that hadn't been there before to not just rely on myself, but to actually turn to God, to turn to others, to ask for help. You see, we're not meant to live this life on our own. We're not meant to go at this alone. That's not how God created it. Suffering and hard times are going to come in everyone's life. It's going to happen. The question is, are we able to take that suffering, to take the panoramic view, and to see it as an opportunity, not only to grow in our relationship with God, but to grow in our relationship with others? to be able to step outside of ourselves and to find that hope and to be able to trust in God's plan for us again. I know it's hard, it's not, it is so much easier said than done, but our challenge is to be able to look at the hardships in our lives, those times of suffering, and to see them as opportunities to grow. And I promise you, in doing this, especially in turning to God, you will find the hope and the peace and the joy that you never dreamt possible.